this card reminds me of all of the great things that were going on in the 90s like Nintendo and Mario and color and pop and comic book I really wanted to come with the simplicity of blue red and yellow the primary colors which make me feel young and make me feel alive and it's with those three colors you can go anywhere and this card goes everywhere and I love that first I wanted to come at it big and work on a canvas and really strike the canvas with some big brush strokes get that blaze out get it out of my system that was my that was my donut on the baseball bat when I picked up the original 1990 card and just started using my uh, paint brushes and getting the blends on there the card started to come alive so then I used the canvas as my sketch and the card as my piece when I'm in the studio I'm a handmade artist I'm a handmade man I love getting my hands in it paint on it if I if I see it on my hands I know it's gonna be a good piece I really want to be present and make it handmade and that that involves a lot of cutting it involves a lot of different brush brushes markers it involves a lot of making mistakes and that's okay because the best mistakes actually turn out to be the best parts of the card the way that it came out with the blend of what Tops did to the card because it's already a work of art. They've got artists creating these cards over, are we talking 30 years ago? This card, is thir this card we're holding is 30 years old. I love that, you know, I, I was able to enhance what was already there. The color, the design, and then just put a little bit of myself on there. I feel like this piece, this piece is complete. It goes really well with the other cards in my set because my Cal Ripken was in the same size and the same format. The colorways are very much reminiscent of my first card, which was George Brett. I hope you feel the hurt because this guy came out dope.